Hello, welcome to Stampin' All Day with Bev. It is Sunday, so it is time for my Sunday Night Live. Welcome, thank you for coming, all my Facebook followers and all my YouTube subscribers and all of you who are new, welcome. Let me know if you're new. We would all like to say hey and thank you for being here. I'm gonna start in one minute, and I am working from the new mini holiday catalog. I cannot show you the inside. Hi Donna, hi Carol, hi those of you who are coming on. Um, but I'm gonna look real quick and see what page these are on. Oh boy, I forgot what page they're on, so let me look real quick. Hi Roseanne, hey, hi Marcia. Let me look back in the index real quick. <laughs> well, where are the dies? Where are the single dies? I can't find them. Is it seven o'clock? Let's see here. Let's see here. Well, I didn't write the page down and I can't find them and it's seven o'clock, so we will we will find them. Hi, Karen. Who else do I, did I miss? Hello, Louise. Stephanie, welcome everybody. Okay, hey, Ross. Um, one of the things that I love are dyes, um, as far as Stephanie product goes, are dyes that can be used with any, hi Marie, any stamp sets whatsoever to make any projects you want to make. They're super versatile. Um, I love bundles, don't get me wrong, but when we have a set of dies that can just be used for so many different things, I like to go there and experiment. So today I'm making um, a 3D item because we have fall coming up. We have Thanksgiving, we have Halloween. Hey Valerie, and so we need pumpkins, right? I like to make decor for my home. I like to make little packages to give away for people that come by. And so that's what I'm gonna show you tonight. Um, also, I'm gonna turn you down to my desk now and I'm gonna show you who the winner was for uh, the last card I made. Hello, Amanda. Thank you for being here. Amanda's just new at learning about Stampin' Up! So welcome, Amanda, everybody. I probably embarrassed her and that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> so anyway, let me turn you down and we're gonna get started. Hey, Diane. Let me, oops, let me flip you around and turn you the right direction. There we go. Hey, Viola, welcome home. Glad you had a fun time in Pismo. Okay, how could you not though, right? Pismo is just an amazing area here in California. Yes, the deckled circles is what I was looking for, the page number. Thank you, my Vanna, Ms. Bev Stokes, thank you. Um, so here's the card that I made last at the last live. And I have a winner. I don't think, um, I think she's new or maybe not, but I don't remember seeing Carol, your name, very often anyway. But thank you for watching last at my last live and congratulations. Now I need to uh, get your address. So if you can private message me or email me, my email is mo, M-O-F-U-N, fun, 44 at iCloud.com. If you can email me your address maybe, then I'm gonna put this card in the mail to you. So congratulations, Carol. Thank you, Carol, was that right? Carol Warren, yes. So congratulations and thanks for watching me, Carol. Okay, here is my host code if you wanna place an order with me for the month of August. There is the host code. And where can you shop with me? Pay, um, you can shop with me at beverlystamps.stampinup.net. Bev Stokes is telling us that the decal circles are on page 63 of the mini catalog. Thank you so much, Bev. So um, there is where you can shop. 
I have to start by showing you a card, snail mail, that was sent to me, one of my downline. She has um, promoted, and so I sent her some little gifts, and she sent me this thank you card, and I want you guys to get ready for this. Hold on to your pants. It is beautiful. Look at this. Look at this card. Isn't that awesome? I just love it. So Florence sent me this card as a thank you for the gifts I sent her and I was so thrilled. I kept it next to me for a few hours and I just kept opening it up. I love this owl, oh my goodness. And I just thought it was a beautiful fold, beautiful DSP. The whole thing is just gorgeous. So I wanted to share that with you. Okay, so let me tell you what else I'm using that's in the new mini catalog. The Curved Label Punch. Hey, Kathleen. And this is the code if you want to jot it down on your wish list. Now, we can't order until September. I believe it's the second. So, But if you think you're going to want this punch, I knew I wanted it right away, then there is the code for that. And on the pumpkin that I'm going to make in a minute, I'm also going to use the stripes and splatters embossing folder. This one here. There, um, there are splatters also. Oh, there's Florence. Yes, I love, love, love the card, Florence. It's just stunning. It's just breathtaking. I'm also using the Cheers to the Season. I used it. Um, hi, Antonio. I used it... Um, my last live and I wanted to use it again I'm using the so thankful since fall is coming up and then these amazing deckled circle dies check these out and this isn't all of them I have the largest one that I'm going to use for you tonight and then look at all these beautiful beautiful Deckled circle dies. I'm just going to keep this one out now because I'm going to use it. And I will give you the code for your, uh, for your wish list also. There it is there. Okay. When I show you the other samples that I'm not going to make today, I made them in advance so you could see a little cluster of pumpkins. I used on those and on the leaves for the pumpkins, the basic 3D embossing folders. Hi, Annie. And there is their code there. And these are an online, hi Arturo. These are an online um, um, item. So you can, won't find them in any catalogs. You can get them now online. So just go to my website and you'll see them there. All right, so let me show you the samples. I'm gonna make the largest one today for you here it is so you can see full full face but it does stand up and it has a little box inside so you could put candy or whatever you'd like in there or just use it as a box to have this item stand up look how beautiful these leaves are Look at all the texture. And I'm going to show you that you don't just have to use the front of the leaves that says so thankful. You can use the back and just make them general leaves for any time. Now, when I make, thank you for all the hearts, you guys. When I make um, 3D items, thanks, Carol. I like to make three, that's the little rule, right? So I can put them on a table or somewhere clustered together in threes. But look at the, the texture with those basic folders all right here. So here is the smaller, so large, medium, and small. And they all have a box inside that you can add candy to if you want to make these for Halloween. You don't have to put the So Thankful leaves on there. You can just put right the leaves. I'm gonna show you the backside, like I said. Or you can use your Halloween stamps and give a pumpkin out with candy in it. 
Oh, I'm so glad you like them, everybody. Hi, Betty. Welcome. So here they are all together so you can see them on the camera. And let's get started. All right, the large, largest die. And of course, the cut and boss machine. Get my chair out of my way. I'm going to stand up for the rest of this live. And get ready to cut a big pumpkin out. Now, when I saw this die, I thought to myself, Lord have mercy, does that even fit in the cut and boss machine? Well, I should have known better. Of course, they wouldn't make it bigger, right? So, uh, too big to fit in the cut and boss machine. So, there we go. And I took an eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock and I cut it down, uh, the eight and a half at the top, and I cut it down to six inches wide. There are two pieces here because, hi Rosemary, the die can cut through two pieces of cardstock at one time, no problemo. So I was excited about that because I want a front and a back for my pumpkin. So let me just get the platforms on here straight and, cut, and run this through and cut it. To Hannah, welcome. Okay, I'm gonna go back just because I have, oops, I don't know if I went all the way off. Okay, now I'm gonna go back just because I have two pieces of paper and make sure. See how it cuts out perfectly the first time? Woohoo, yippee. And two pumpkins, two, two sides to my pumpkin, just like that. All right. So now we have this piece left over and I'm gonna use that. Hi, Pablo, I'm gonna use that for the box. Okay, so I'll get to that next. Now I'm gonna change my platforms on my cut and boss machine and we're gonna to go to the folder. I believe that the speckled folder, I mean the, um, not the speckled one, the stripes folder needs the, needs, uh, one and four, yes it does. <clears throat> so here's platform one, and here's here's the folder. Now, yes, I do understand that this folder is not wide enough to cover this whole pumpkin. So, because I wanted the stripes, I just tested to see how I could make it work. So I'm just gonna run it through once. And I ran it right down the middle. I guess you could start on the sides as well. And then I just moved it over and matched up the stripes. You can see through the um, plastic folder and you wanna come to the edge and we're gonna go through again now you have to make sure that you don't get your folder over so far that it doesn't fit on the platform. So just line it up, making sure it's gonna fit on the platform. And run it through again. Now with the other size pumpkins that I have, you don't, look at, see that? You don't have to go through numerous times because they're smaller. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna I need to run it through one more time because this part is still not embossed. So I'm going to make sure the end of my circle, hi Marcello, is at the end of the folder here. And now I'm gonna check that I'm straight with the other stripes. And then I'm gonna go through again. Hi, Caesar. Okay. So there is one whole pumpkin done. One very, very large pumpkin done. So let me, you guys know how to do it now. Let's try it from the sides and see if that's faster. So I don't have to talk when I do this. You guys are seeing what I'm doing. You saw what I did. 
making sure that it fits on the platform and away we go. So it doesn't take a long time. I think that the embossed side of the pump side of the pumpkin can be oh I, it, it went away I can't I'll read it later and let's go over to the other half get it on the end and run it through one more time hi Diane welcome everybody Okay, so there we go. Both, both pieces are embossed. I'm going to need my machine again for the leaves, but we're going to go over to um, one of the pieces. Remember, I cut out two at a time, but I only need one. And I am going to cut it at two and a half inches. You can really choose the size you want. You can make it larger if you want. I'm just going to go to two and a half inches and by six. And that's how wide the paper was, remember? So it's two and a half by six for the box. Okay, now I'm going to shape my box. So this is six inches wide. So I went to my trimmer. And I wanted to know where the halfway point was, and that's three, correct? So I see that the score line or the cutting line is right there for three, but I want to make quarter inch um, score lines on both sides of the three inch mark. So I'm gonna go to three and a quarter right here and score. And then I'm gonna pull back to two and three quarters and score. Then I'm gonna turn, there's my two score lines and that's where the box will be able to stand. Then I'm gonna turn it vertically and I'm gonna put the end on the half inch mark and score. This is a super simple, same thing on the other side box with an open end so you can stick like pixie sticks in there wouldn't that be cute to give away halloween with pixie sticks sticks sticking out and now we have this look here i'll let you see the look it gives for the scoring you're going to need your paper snips and your tear and tape and you're going to come up to the two score lines the two and three quarters and the three and a quarter and you're gonna snip up to the first vertical line, half inch line on both sides. And what do I call these uh, little, I call them dog ears, most people call them tabs. You're going to take a little piece of pizza, that little piece out, just to reduce the bulk, again on both sides. And then our handy dandy bone folder. And burnish. Okay, so if you're not, if you don't know exactly where you should put your adhesive, you bring your dog ears up and you close up one end like this and you see that the adhesive needs to go here. And then we also need the box to close up on itself. So we need tape here. So what is the easiest, easiest for me is to fold down the left hand side and the dog ears, fold them over and then tear your tear and tape. Welcome back, Muhammad. And just tear your tape right on here. And the other. Hey, Mary. Okay. 
If tear and tape is not your friend, it's probably because you can't get it up easily. And all you have to do on a small piece is go up and down with the tip of your bone folder on a large piece sideways. And that gets the protective paper, which you're looking at, to be to release from the actual adhesive. Then I take my nail and I go right in the middle of the tear and tape and pull away and it works every time it comes right up with no problem so i want the middle of this small piece as well and the middle of this small piece as well and we've got all our protective paper away and you'll see the shiny adhesive there okay so now all we have to do is Fold this side up, and I'm going to grab the dog ears and make sure they're lined up with the edge of the box, just like that. Same thing with the other side, extremely easy. Get, trying to get that out of your way. Just line it up straight. Okay, now that I've got adhesive here and here, so that means that this has to be the outside, and we're just going to line it up and press and we've got our cute little it's kind of like a match box i'm going to press with my bone folder just so it sticks really really well and i've got the inside to put my pixie sticks or whatever other candy i want to put in here and my pumpkin will now stand on this okay so here is the pumpkin both sides and I'm just going to take my punch now this is the curved label punch and a scrap um, this is parakeet party I believe uh, cardstock and I am just going to punch one of these curves and I thought it would make a cute pumpkin stem don't you think so, but I didn't like it plain like this. So we're gonna go back to the cut and boss machine in a second. And we're gonna emboss that with the basic folders. <clears throat> okay, so I've got my pieces here like this. And then a white piece of cardstock for my leaves. And I am going to start with <clears throat> the wild wheat. Hi, Beth. I'm going to tap that on, stamp it, press, and look how beautiful that leaf is. Now, so you didn't have to watch me cut it out. I cut one out already. And um, why did I do that? I didn't, I want, I have one for the pumpkin already that says so thankful. And I want more leaves, but I want them to be solid colors. So let's see. Yes. Get the uh, wild wheat ink pad and my blending brush. And I'm going to go dark onto here and get some real color on this leaf. Because if you put the leaves on in the, in the directions that you need, the words would be upside down. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I said, well, let's just use the back side. And it worked. You also, if you want it hecka dark, you could just tap like this. Now look at the difference. That is very pretty too. So whatever, whatever you want. Okay, that is so pretty. All right, I'm gonna clean my fingers off because I grabbed the ink pad. And I'm gonna tell you that now that this ink is wet, it will get on your folder, but folders are plastic, so you can um, rinse them off under running water at the faucet and you've got a clean um, 
folder again. All right, let me put this up here and get my folder and my cut and emboss machine. So I need the stem. two of the folders. I want to use as much um, texture as I can. So I'm going to put the stem in this one and run it through. So if I was making a bunch of pumpkins as gifts and stuff, of course I would fill this folder up with a bunch of stems. So you could just run it through once and have as many stems as you need. And then this leaf, I'm going to use the hashtag type of folder. They all three come in the same set though. And remember the ink is going to get on the folder, but you can just wash it right off when you're done. I'm just coming backwards on it because I can grab it easier like this. And look how beautiful this leaf is now because it's textured. See the ink on the folder? So I wanted to warn you about that. So that needs to be washed. Okay, I have my chamois and I keep it in a clear stamping case. There's the chamois uh, code and the case codes. I'm gonna clean off my little stamp. Okay, let's put this little guy together. I also need some linen thread. Linen thread is just adorable on this project. So let me pull, you know how I like to double my linen thread to make it a little bit thicker. Just double it like that and make a bow. And I'm gonna put this on with um, mini glue dots. Separate your two little loops there. This part is hanging nice already. This part just need to be snipped. And there's your double bow. Okay. So our box needs to make our pumpkin stand up. So on this one, I came, I put the bottom of the circle right at the score line of the box. So let's take our um, liquid glue. And I found it just easier just to put it on the box. And then place your pumpkin right on top, making sure your stripes are straight up and down if that's the orientation you wanted. Easy, isn't it? so easy and with all these circles you can make so many different sizes i know this is large um so you can not even go there with this large one you can start with half the size if you wanted to and then just line these up you can see the bottom one and then it stands all by itself because of the box Okay, so we're gonna take the stem and a couple of mini glue dots, just so I don't have to wait for it to dry. And my little tip for you is, when you make a cluster of three of these pumpkins, you can have the stems going in different directions. So this one's gonna go to my left, so the other, the medium size one I make, on, will the stem will go to my right, and you know, and so on. All right, so then we can just add the leaf. Look how pretty that is. And I'm just gonna, oh, I'm gonna use dimensionals. I want dimension. Those are mini ones. I want the bigger ones. Where are they? Sorry, I had to reach for a new pack. Oh, a new pack of dimensionals. Oh, so pretty. Okay, so I'm going to put three on here. Again, peel off the protective backing. 
and the so thankful has to be straight up and down so you can read it. So that's why I did the back side. See that? If if you if you want to use them this way, it would be upside down. Now the great thing about 3D projects, you can go off the edge, not like a card, so it doesn't so it fits in the envelope, you have to be careful, right? So here is the back side. Same color. That's Blackberry Bliss and the other folder in the basic folders. So we can just place that one there. And then the one I just made, let's take our bone folder and add a little bit of curl. Okay, and then we can place these guys wherever we want. I don't want to I don't want to hide the so thankful. So, I'm going to go back to my dimensionals. Hi, Nina. Get this up. And I was hoping that my new black and ivory checked ribbon would be here by before today, but it's not. So, I'm going to use my regular that we already have, the black and white ribbon. And I just showed you how to double your bow, so you already know how to do that. Um, oops, I think I cut this one a little short. Let me see if it'll let me double. I set it, but then I, nah, that's too small. I'm just going to do a single. <clears throat> And we're going to place this in the middle. It was lopsided. Place this in the middle. Okay. Add it right there. But watch. We can make this cute, cute, cute. You like my ribbon holder? Where did I get it? Okay, go to the grocery store, Marsha, and buy some strawberries. Rinse them out, put them in your container in your refrigerator, and use the strawberry container for your ribbons. The little holes down here, you can just pull your ribbons through. Isn't that cool? It's very handy. So I'm going to get some mini glue dots. I'm going to get two. And I'm going to place that right about there. This one's a little bit longer than the other one, so I'm going to trim that down. And then I'm going to take that baker's twine. You're welcome, my dear. And I'm going to set that down there too. Double bow, so cute. And I didn't do this on the other ones, but let me check. Let me let me let me get some sparkles let's get some sparkles on here and if you know if it's going to be up in your living room or on your mantle in your den or wherever you plan to put these you may want a little bit of sparkle so just let those land where you will and you're either going to do three or five I think I'm going to leave, leave three And then fill it up with uh, lollipops or um, um, what did I call those things? Oh gosh, those little stick, pixie sticks. Little pixie sticks. And then it will, um, now this one's going to be top heavy for a minute until I mess with it because all of this is in the front. There we go. You have to just pull it apart a little bit and mess with it to get it balanced. And then you can put all three of them together and have a cute little vignette wherever you want it to be. So look at the texture, the basic folders, all the texture in there. 
Then this is the stripes and splatters, but all the texture from the basic folders. The new stamp set, um, what's the name of that one again? Cheers to the season. And you can just go to town making your pumpkins in any size you want. Let me pull these guys again so you can see how, how many are in here. It should tell us 14. Look at this, any size you want. Now, I've made chickens in the past, it just dawned on me right now. I take a big circle like this, and I've always complained that they were too small, and you fold it in half, and it's like a rocking little chicken. Um, you just add a beak and his, and his uh, wing. Oh gosh, so cute, so cute. So this will make better sizes for that. You wondered what the heck you would do with big old circles. Well, if you're a scrapbooker, there's a lot of things you can do with that. But okay, so let's, let's, let's talk a minute. What else is circles? Christmas is coming. You can make ornaments, right? Now this, I didn't back this with anything, another piece of white cardstock, cardboard, or anything. I didn't back it, but if you want to make ornaments to hang, you can with these circles, whatever size you want. Yes, this one is very large, but um, you don't have to use that one if you're not. I like, I like larger things, so that's why I did it. And I know you can't see how cute that is from the front, so I'm gonna lay it down one more time so you can have a, a better look at all three of them together. And all three of them have a box, so you can give goodies in them as well. Any comments, any questions? Okay, we will see you Tuesday at 2 p.m. Pacific time. Thank you for being here. Uh, if you have any questions for me, just let me know. Thank you for all the hearts, you guys. That just makes my day. All right, God bless. Take care.